afternoon and welcome to the Tapo Community Garden and we're going to be stealing a march on time. It's the middle of February but the activities you can get on with now there's certainly enough of them preparing the ground getting the compost mixed into your soil but also starting plants off. These were mentioned in an earlier blog about uh, well, getting garlic started nice and early and as you can see We've got a nice root system, which has two advantages. It can stave off the dreaded disease called white nose if you happen to have it in your ground. This is a very good way for growing onions as well. Start them off in pots first so they've already got a good root system on and they're less likely to rot off within days of putting them in the ground. We've also got our sweet peas growing away nice and strongly. And uh, you could probably buy young plants now and uh, get them hardened off and get sweet peas even earlier in the season. We have our fans here as well. The other yes, thing... We've got the um, child cares and the, the child flock, minders child minders and the flock of seven or eight children. So there will be scree screams and screeches in the background. This is a perfect time of year for growing parsnips as they require a long growing season and the variety that we have here is called Tender and True and it's quite a good tip they have got here is that um, in order to use uh, in order to mark your row you use radish so the radish comes up and that means that if you're subsequently hoeing you know where your row is the parsnips can take a very long time to germinate so that's why this is a good tip to use um, we're lucky in that we've got these raised beds, so our parsnips are going to be lovely and deep. Um, but if you have got a fairly new veg patch, it's a nice idea to fork it over to quite a depth if you're wanting to grow root crops like carrots and parsnips. Tilth is the most important part of any seed sowing. It's got to be done to the point whereby, again, we're very lucky here in that the soil is in good condition, but it's the tilth means that when we get a straight edge, so this is this batten, in order to make our first line using a sharp end, it means that the drill, or drill as we call them, can be the uniform depth and nice and straight. When you are sowing the seeds, try to use as not too much. For parsnips, for example, we do what's called station sowing. And that's so that you don't have to thin them out afterwards and consequently saving yourself some seed. Some people advocate these seed sowers, which enable you to just put the seeds in and then just pop seeds in as you go along the row. Um, I've been doing it long enough that I just do it with my hands and so again do, do not do this on a windy day once you've got some seeds in the palm of your hand you can very gently put maybe two to each what's called a station like this there there and there that means that you've got enough room on either side of each sowing for the parsnip to swell. If anything, if you're growing to show, you want to put them even further. So, I won't sow them all just now. I'll put, pop these back just now. Um, but the, the radish, we're quite fortunate in that the radish and parsnip seeds are pretty well able to go in the same depth of the drill the importance of making the drill as flat as possible is that um, if you have one end that's slightly raised and the other end that's slightly too deep, the seeds at this end can absorb water, start to germinate and then may dry out and die off. The ones that are planted too deep obviously maybe don't have that energy once they've germinated to come through the surface. That's the size of the radish seed. As you can see it's quite easily handleable and quite large. So that can be sown quite thickly to mark your rows of radish because these will be ready in a matter of weeks and then they can be harvested 
when the parsnips are big enough to want to try and grow sideways and become bigger. So there you have it on a lovely, what is this, late winter or early spring? It certainly feels nicer than it has of late. And so we're really looking forward to cracking on and having a very successful growing season. See you next time. Thank you.